Well, hello, friends. Today, we are going to do some tab navigation. Um, specifically, when you press tab in a GUI application, um, I would like it to jump between the different controls here, or widgets, as I call them. Um, and um, it should also be sort of visible which one is the currently focused widget. Um, so I think for buttons, we would do something like, um, we could do like a little dotted frame around the text. And um, for text boxes, maybe we don't need anything because we got the cursor blinking. But for the checkbox here, probably um, dotted frame around the text again. Um, and I don't know if those would be the final things, but I figured we would just start with that. So let's just jump right into it. <clears throat> um, first thing, I think we're gonna need to do is just check, just refresh my memory on how focus looks like. So I know that G-Widget has um, some focus business going on um, because you can click to focus a text editor, for instance. So yeah, so there's this uh, virtual here called accepts focus. And um, I think basically what happens is that whenever you click on a widget, um, if that widget accepts focus, then, um, yeah, so when we handle mouse on event, if the widget accepts the focus, then it takes focus. It's pretty, pretty simple. So um, currently, I see that we have checkbox, accepts focus, abstract view, text editor, um, and gwidget defaults to false. So we're gonna go ahead and also do this for gbutton um, to make sure that gbutton accepts focus because we had G buttons in that little test app that we had there. So we're gonna need them to, to take focus as well. And um, then let's go in the um, G button paint event right away. And um, in case we do have focus, let's draw a little rectangle. So, um, I haven't even thought about focused and enabled state. I guess focus and enabled are kind of mutually exclusive in a way, or you can't be focused when you're disabled, I think. But um, I don't know, I, I just, it just occurred to me now because I see this code here, but uh, let's think about that later. So first thing is that if it is focused, yeah, we already have this, painter, draw, rect. Um, and uh, let's see, so this is where we draw the text, write the caption. Um, but I'm guessing that the content rect is pretty wide. Let's just see what this looks like if we make a um, color red rect here. For when a button is focused. Okay, so that's kind of excessive, but at least you can see that the button is focused. Um, so let's do something with a checkbox as well, and then we can go and worry about making it look nice later. So let's, let's do a similar thing for the checkbox. Um, um, paint event. And if it's focused, I guess, I mean, if we do have a caption, then we'll um, put this around the text tract. Or even if we don't have a caption, well, it would look weird with a focus rect with no text. So, okay, I don't, I don't know what should happen if you have a checkbox with, with no text, but focus. So let's worry about that later. Uh, right now, let's just see what this looks like. So da 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 da. Oh, that's kind of hideous. Um, that's hideous, but it does work because um, we just want to check that tapping makes a difference. So, let's see. Let's see, where do we do this then? Then, um, in G widget, I guess, in key down event, um, let's say that. 
if event dot key, what's it called? Key, key code, key tab, then um, I guess focus next and let's say event. Uh, oh, can we even do this? Maybe event shift focus previous else focus next. Uh huh. Okay, then we gotta add those. Okay, maybe these should be private little helpers here. Focus previous and the next widget, which is called a widget. Okay. Um, and let's implement those. Oops. I should make this a bit bigger, actually. I think I'll start with, uh, or I'll start with the next one. We'll say focus previous widget. Fix me implement. Okay. Now, um, since we don't really have um, a tab index or tab order or whatever. Um, defined, we are just going to go in widget um, child order, which is back to front uh, Z order. Um, and um, maybe uh, we can figure out something about uh, having a um, tab order separately from that, but um, pr probably not today, but, but um, in the future. But for now, let's just use, use the um, widget order um, that we use for the paint stuff. So do we have some for each thing? No, okay. So let's just iterate um, our parents' children. So then let's see. Parent widget. Um, if no parent, And I guess we are the main widget. So if there is no parent, then what do we do? Then we um, take our first child that's focusable. Okay, so let's see. Auto widget. Children child if child is widget and child is there some two widget thing? No, okay. Static cast G widget child um is focus. No, accepts focus. This continue, okay, and then um, hmm. what am I doing? Set focus true. Let's see, so when we're looking for focus, we should go into ourselves, if possible. 
Um, and then if we don't have any children, then we should go to our sibling. And if we don't have a sibling, we should go to our parent. Um, our parent sibling. I guess. So maybe it should be something more like... Um, <clears throat> the next focusable um, like this like that and then we'll say child okay, child I don't know what it is child Um, if child widget is accept focus, then child widget uh, return child widget. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if auto descendant. Focus of all return descendant widget. Um, so this way we go through all the children. But then we need to put parent as well. So, do we have a sibling concept here? So this is a bit confusing because there's no way to get to your sibling right now. Um, so I guess we'll just do something like... Um, Well, we want to loop around to it. Wow, I, I didn't really think about how this should work beforehand, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so um, let's see. Auto sibling is our G widget sibling is no putter, and then um, for parent widget. So we'll get the parent and child at no children size k and then plus plus i. If um, let's see, if um, am I confusing this whole thing right now? 
Hmm. I am making this a bit confusing for myself. I could also do something more like... Um, yeah, okay, let's do this differently. Um, instead, let's say... Focusable widgets. Um, and I will say main widget. Oh no. Window. Main widget. Uh, or even window. Focusable widgets. Okay. Um, and then this thing is going to be a. Um, not a cache. We'll just build it up right here. Vector. Uh, focus on widgets. Okay. And how will this work? Okay, then we'll start at. should just be called for and main widget so far so good I can even do this uh, we'll say if and no main widget then turn an empty vector and here we do this Widget accepts focus, then collected widgets append widget. Uh, and then we say for auto child uh, widget children. If child is widget, continue. Collected. Oh, wait, hold on. If child. Cast G widget child accepts focus, then collect widgets and a child. Okay. And uh, if it accepts the focus and whether or not it accepts the focus, we also go into the child. Although I feel like if a child is invisible, then we should ignore it. So let's say a child is visible. Continue. Okay. Um, Actually, what we should do is really just do this. Okay. And this type auto cannot appear in its own initializer. Um. Yes, I have to make make it this way. Cannot be implicitly captured in a lambda with no capture default specified. Um, okay, I'll just 
just do that. That's interesting. You can't uh, use the lambda recursively if it's auto. Hmm. Well, today uh, we discovered something. Oh, no, 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 that's not right. Why are you upset? No matching function. Void. Oh, duh. Right, okay, here we go. Um, all right, so I think that's cool. So now we collect all the focusable widgets in the window. Focusable, okay. Then we don't need view. We can just get all the widgets and then, um, let's see, so, uh, da, 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 da. Accept widget size, and if, um, I guess focus on the widgets, all right, is, this then uh, i is less than focusable widgets dot size minus one what oh no hold on um focusable widgets i plus one set focus wow this is a little bit hackish here but it's okay else we just take the first one in the list so we rotate around okay see i feel like that got way less confusing there let's see how this works i wonder if this is going to even react now that I think about it, because will people actually call up to the key event? Oh, tab, 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 and tab. Interestingly, that works. Although the text box, it actually inserts a tab character before we um, switch focus. So let's see in GText Editor how the heck that happens. Mm -hmm. I guess that would mean key down event. So let's see, we're in key down, but we're not pressing key down. <laughs> we're in the key down event, sorry. Um, but we don't have any special handling for tab. I thought we had something for tab. Mm. We're here, oh, this is insert at cursor, okay, so. Let's see, in key down, what we're gonna do is if event key, or no, hold on. if it's a single line text editor and the key is key code tab, then we will just do return to widget key down event. So we will just pass control to G widget. All of these other ones, they um, will absorb the event, it seems like, except if we get to the bottom, which is interesting. I think probably we shouldn't do this here, because if we get here, we should really consider the event um, swallowed by the, um, by the text editor. Okay, so let's try this again. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, so let's make them look a little bit better. Those focus uh, rects. So let's say the, the button one was pretty ugly, for instance. 
So let's make um, a tighter rectangle. We'll do something like um, focus rect is content rect arm. Let's make a new one. Um, let me say that uh, x and y don't matter, but uh, we are going to calculate the width of the um, caption and the font glyph height will be the um, height of this rect. And then we'll say focus rect uh, inflate maybe two pixels on each side, so four, four. And then focus rect center within content rect. And then we will draw that. Maybe we'll make it like um, dark gray instead. Let's see how that looks. See, that's a, that's a much nicer rect, but um, still not the right color. So let's just try one different color here. First, I was thinking it should be like a dotted rect, but it looks kind of good this way too. Um, let's grow it a little bit more um, horizontally though. Let's like, um, let's say double that. See how this looks. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Okay, okay, I like it. Let's um, let's go with that. So let's do the same treatment for the um, checkbox. Uh, so let's take this with us and go to G checkbox. And um. Let's see, so we'll say that uh, here, it looks a little bit different here. So where the heck is the chat text track coming from? Um, so this thing isn't quite smart enough yet. So let's do a little bit of trickery here and constrain the rack. Um, text rack is minus this box, right? Minus four. I don't know what these numbers are. I'm just uh, a... <laughs> Um, I'm just going to fix them up. Next, right, set, height. Um, I guess font, glyph, height. Um, and then the focus rect is going to be centered within the text rect. Um, focus rect can't even be the text rect actually. And it needs to be not centered within. So let's see how that looks. Okay, so it's, it's too wide. Um, so text rect width. Oh, see what I want to do here is um, I want to set the width to be the font width for the M caption. Okay, it's pretty good. Maybe eight is a bit much in these cases. Maybe six will do it. Um, let's try that. And um, let's try a different color too, because what's mid gray? Mid gray is 127. Light gray is too light. That's the button face color, but maybe like 140 would be a good color. Um, let's see, from RGB, or no, color. What the heck is the constructor? Oh, right, so I just want 40. Um, okay, and then let's do the same in the other place. Okay, wait, did I just go to the same place twice? I did, okay.
Yeah, it's nice, nice and a little bit tighter. A little bit better. Okay, okay, okay. But now we gotta make shift tab work as well. So let's go into widget and implement this guy because I keep doing it instinctively and uh, it doesn't move backwards. So we gotta fix that. Um, okay, so this is gonna be basically the same, but we'll just go backwards instead. So size minus one. If I wait, oh god, it's the um, this is not my strong suit. <laughs> Let me try a minus one if it's greater than zero. If I is zero, then this won't work. Otherwise, it's fine. Okay, so if it's zero, then we have to take the very last one instead. Flexible widgets. I guess I can actually do dot last in that case. And we can do dot first in this case. Um, yeah, okay. So like maybe I just bungle this. Oh, it works. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, yeah, this this doesn't do anything. <laughs> I I somehow thought it would auto layout, but this is um, actually this app. I made this before I had layouts, so these are all just manually um, manually laid out here. Um, okay, so I really ended up liking this focus look. Let's um, let's see it in some other app. Let's see, where do we want to go? Maybe in the font editor. This guy doesn't look much these days. Can I tab here? Oh, shit, yeah, because I didn't recompile him. Let's recompile everything. Um... And I guess we can just restructure this loop slightly since we have some time. Da, da, da. Always prefer early break and early continue, whatever, um, over nesting. Okay. So G spin box, for instance, that I was just thinking that control there in the or the widget that we had in the font editor is a G spin box. And I think it's just gonna work automatically because it internally has a text editor. Um but we'll see once it compiles. Okay. Uh, font editor. This doesn't, this didn't do what I expected it to. Oh, wait, it does. No, no, no. It <laughs> focus jumps to this thing here and then to this thing. And then I don't know where we are there for a moment. Something has focus. I don't know what. Now this thing has focus. Now this thing. Now this thing. Now this thing. Now this thing. Back here. Oh, that's kind of curious. That, um, hmm, how should that work? I guess if you, the spin box should really be like, um, it should take the focus and then sort of pass it on to the text box, but you could also just say that, um, the um, text box takes focus and the buttons do not. Or maybe we should have something like um, like a focus proxy or something like that. But um, that's that's really for a separate patch. So let's do a um, patch review. Um, starting with 
ignoring this part here. This is just me being lazy with the kernel to start up this little test app. Okay, so in G button, um, if we are an enable button that we paint and it's focused, then we compute the focus rect and then draw this little gray rectangle around the text. And we also say that G button now accepts focus. That's cool. And then in G checkbox, we um, fix up the computation here of the text rect a little bit because it was fine just for drawing the text, but now that we want to actually make a rectangle based on the text rect, then we have to um, tighten the computation a little bit so that it becomes um, exactly the rect that we want. So then if we have a caption and it is focused, then we draw this little gray rectangle around the caption in case of focus. Okay. And then in the G text editor widget, if we are a single line text editor and we get a tab key press, we will just pass control to G widget key down event. And we will no longer um, default to calling G widget key down event down here because I think we don't need to do that. But it's just a little thing I was fixing while I was at it here. Okay. Um, and then G widget key down event now actually has some logic in it. So what it does is it checks if you are pressing the tab key and you're holding shift, then we will focus the previous widget. If you're not holding shift, we will focus the next widget. I think that's good. Although I guess we could be like a little tighter here and say, um, if event alt and event control, um, just so that it's really only shift tab and, and tab, not, and if you hold either alt or control, then, then nothing will happen. Um, and I guess event logo as well. Okay. Then we have the focus previous and focus next things. So both of them, they will just gather the focusable widgets from the window and then loop through this list until we find ourselves. And for previews, we grab the preceding widget in the list, unless we're at the start of the list. If so, we get the last widget in the list and uh, focus next widget works the other way around. Um, that's fine. Blah, blah, blah. And then here in G window focusable widgets, what we do is that if we don't have a main widget, we return an empty vector. Um, but if we do have a main widget, then we have this little lambda here that um, will just traverse the widget tree starting at the main widget and descending into all of the uh, little widget subtrees and picking up all the children who are visible. And shit, this is forgetting something very important here. It's probably why we were having that problem in the font editor. And it is to actually check accepts focus. Okay. And I, this is kind of silly, so let's just um, let's make this thing. Child. Because I don't like repeating myself with the static cast over and over and over. It looks so ugly. That's much better. Okay, and then we just had the declaration for focusable widgets, and oh, this here was just some debug code that I disabled in the um, test app. So let's try this one more time. Oh, and actually, let's do the font editor one more time as well. That's what you would expect. And let's see the font editor. There, and then. Uh, nothing is happening. Why is nothing happening? Um, is it one of these? Okay. Let's see. Key down event. 
shuttle, log on. These are working, so why the heck? Mm. Oh, 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 right. Because this is still not right here, I made it stupid. See, we were checking, except focus up here. Is this where it's relevant? Here we are just descending into the children, so it was actually right. We only append to the um, to the vector if it does accept focus. So I was just um, I was just double wrong there. Okay. Um, so it's fine then. Let's, oh, wait, hold on, accept focus. So it must have been one of these guys that had the focus. Well, they shouldn't have the focus. So these are just this um, custom widgets used in the font editor. They shouldn't have focus. Uh, let's see, cool. Okay, let's try this out one more time. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And it's also very good. Okay. Okay. So everything is as it should be. Let's check. So, okay, so we just added now that we are also removing the accept focus from the custom widgets in the font editor because this is some old thing that they, it used to be possible to focus those widgets. I was just playing around with focus, really. Okay, remove that. And let's also remove the changes in the GUI test too. Okay, now we just have the good stuff left and I removed my temporary confusion here. I think, I think that's all good. Okay, so let's commit. Lib GUI. Um, support tabbing we're cycling focus through cycling through focusable widgets with tab and uh, shift tab. Cool. Cool 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 cool. Okay, let's see that one more time. This is pretty neat. Da, 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 da. Oh, fancy. Space even works. Oh, very nice. Hmm. Oh, space doesn't work for the button. That's a bit silly. Well, let's fix that right away. So for G button, it needs to have a key down event. Okay, G button. And if event key is, I guess, key enter. And this guy needs to include kernel key code. And it's not key enter because it's key return. Um, so G widget key down event. If we get a return, then what we do is click, I guess. Yeah, so we just do click. Which 
should be working just fine, I think. So let's check it out. Oh, there's the stuff that I was disabling. And let's start a terminal. Nah. Cool. All right, well, that works well. All right, just great. So I think this will be it for today's video. So if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.